What's happened? Well, should have overlooked it, but... So Taj is having a shower right now. And Dad's climbing out Taj's hatch and he's gonna, like, try to get Taj. <laughs> I got it stuck. Daddy's got a trick, though. The way to remove this ring, the centre the hand over the board like that. Make sure you got a nice chopping knife sort of thing like that. We are currently in Padang, Sumatra in Indonesia. And Lee is currently in the engine bay removing our exhaust as it's cracked and needs to be welded back together. So this is where we had our leak here. I'd had a bit of a poxy putty just to try and get us out of trouble till Thailand, but obviously didn't hold in. We had a crack here. Um, so I've got to try and remove this epoxy, find a welder in um, Sumatra, West Sumatra, where we are now, and get this welder back on. We're getting actually exhaust and water coming out. So it wasn't a good mix, and the air filter didn't like that either. So see how we go, tidy this up and see what we can do. Good job getting it off, babe. That was, you thought that would be really difficult, hey? Well, I just wasn't sure the four bolts that were holding this on were pretty aged and rusty looking, so I didn't want to snap any bolts, that was my concern. But I think we should be good. Just got to find a welder. Yeah. It'll work out. We'll find someone that can help us and it'll all be good. First stop was trying to find a new filter that fit in the existing housing. But after not having any luck at several shops, we thought we would have a go at the welding. And bingo. After our win with the welder, we headed to immigration. So we're at immigration. A visa extension in Indonesia usually takes anywhere in between one to three days to process, except for Labian Bajo, which took us seven days. But Padang, this day was having system troubles and they weren't sure when we would be able to process so we left the office waiting for a phone call to come back and pick up our passports. And our bad luck seemed to continue. I just cracked a little bit of the slag off. I thought it just didn't clean it up properly, but um, yeah, there's a hole in here. This is oh, the part, it's a big hole. It's the part we got welded and he's got like a little blow hole in here. So I'm gonna have to take this back. I should have had a better look when we were there. But um, there's also a couple little I chipped away and there was a little bit of weld here. It was only done with a stick welder, so pretty ordinary. But anyway, another run back into town and we'll see how we go. I think there's actually a little hole there too. Yeah, there is too. Round two. Okay, so round two. I'm taking it back to the welder. And he's gone around, had a little pinhole out here, plus the hole that uh, cleaned off the slag, and it was a little bit of a big hole. So I'm going to put that back together now. Hopefully we're back on the way. I couldn't find the filter, so I had to buy a whole new housing. So I got something pretty standard. I wanted originally just a high flow air filter, which I could just slide on, but not available here in Indonesia. I can't believe that. Well, I don't know. I gave it to the guys. I should have overlooked it, but I showed them originally I wanted the flow going that way, but they've done it the reverse way. I should have looked at that. I didn't click. So now it's shooting water back up as opposed to shooting water out. Oh man, this is painful. I can't believe that. Well, that's how it is. Have to go back again. To get to town, we get in two buses and usually takes about half an hour. Or we get a grab, which is similar to an Uber and is super cheap. So, what's this place, Taj? Janko. What is it? Janko. It's a bit of a boys' day out. We're going to get a bit of welding welding work done and uh, it's called Jayco here in Indonesia and they have the best donuts so being a bit naughty and having a snack.
sneaky little donut. Mm. So good. Mm. What do you reckon, Taj? Oh, it's real good. Well, I stuffed up. How'd you stuff up? Put our on the wrong way. It was a bit of a mutual one, but I'll take the rap for it. Here's Lee explaining to the guys, and thankfully they laughed and understood. Third time's a charm. We're just walking down the main street of Kupang, uh, not Kupang, Parang. Shops, plenty of traffic. The shop after shop after shop. One of them, just like so. If you're in Oz and you've just done that, people would be yelling at you. Go and get off the fifth and row. Taj and Lee's missions today was also to get some provisioning done. But first, Lee decided to leave the camera behind. Dad left it on the bench on the way back here. Shops we've just been in and we lost the camera, but we just had an honest guy return it to us. Causing some mad panic for the boys. And Taj, how'd we go? I reckon we did good. Oh, you can tell Mum hasn't been on this shop. A few little chocolates in there, Taz. This trolley load of provisions was equivalent to about 230 Australian dollars. Okay, so that's the exhaust elbow back on. Um, I've got a little weld job fixed up. So hopefully it all goes well. We've got our new ex new uh, air filter set up, second hand new. Just uh, hook it all back up and we should be back in business. There's the new part there that was snapped. The weld was corroded or busted. So we'll get it all back together and hopefully it's all good. Alright, so this is the new filter. You had to get a whole new housing because we couldn't find a filter to go in the housing. As usual, to replace the whole thing. Whoa. <laughs> and the lid nearly fell on me. But there it is, he's done it. Looks good, fits in great. He's done it again, everyone. Got us out of trouble. Catalpa's running smoothly. Let's go! So Taj is having a shower right now. And Dad's climbing out Taj's hatch and he's gonna like try to get Taj. So I'm gonna film but say something stupid and just like annoy Taj until Dad gets him to get on camera. We got a call and Lee headed back to Immigracy to pay for our extension, as they now have the system up and running. But Lee asked when it'd be ready to pick up and they still said, sorry mister. Let's have some fun. Like roller coasters and rides and cinemas and... I'm not sure how many donuts were consumed by these two, but I think it's time to get back out onto the islands. Oh yeah, no that's good. Keep it healthy. It's pretty clear, Taj is a good looking kid and the girls over here love him. The boys are bonding over killing some zombies. So Lee and Taj are going over to do a fuel run um, and Bella's driving them over to the the jetty to drop them off because it's easier than pulling up the tender. So I'm staying here editing Annex movie. I was got a bit of a, a problem this morning. What's your problem, honey? The finger's a little bit swollen 
and she's actually put her ring that's meant to go on this finger on this finger. Whose ring is that, by the way? <laughs> I think she thinks she's married. She's got my wedding ring because I gave it to her. And uh, she usually wears it on another finger, but for some reason she's put it on that finger today. And got it stuck. Daddy's got a trick though. What's your trick to get it off? Well, it's a little bit swollen, but um, I'll have to get the utensils and I'll, we'll be back. How do you know this trick? Similar thing happened to Daddy. I actually dislocated my finger while my ring was on there and then I couldn't actually remove the ring because my finger was so swollen but I worked out a little trick. You didn't work it out. Alright, so the easiest way to remove this ring is centre the hand over the board like that. Make sure you get a nice chopping knife sort of thing like that. <laughs> Imagine, you, <laughs> Imagine you accidentally chopped it. The patient's a little bit funny. jumpy, I don't know why. But this is the key to removing a ring that is stuck. So it is a little bit wasteful, but we won't show you this, but we'll reuse all this floss later. Because <laughs> we're grotty yotties. Oh, a bit over two metres. The more the better. The hardest bit is just getting the start. So you take it back up to where the finger's really thin. We want to get that underneath. Put our tail out here. Now we'll slide the ring down a little bit to where it stops, which is not far. And then we're going to wrap this finger with the floss, but we're not going to wrap it tightly. We're just going to wrap it nice and evenly, like so. more wraps and the more floss the better. So if you actually do it too tight you cause the skin to lump up and it won't come off. Okay, probably only a metre and a half guys, I've gone a bit carried away there. <laughs> I, know, in a, I know if it's my finger that I got mine stuck on it was about three metres that we had to wrap up. But uh, go like so. Just try to show that you wait. That back under so it wasn't on twine on us. Alright, let the magic begin. Oh, so you get so the nice. tail and you just slowly working with. reasonable pressure on it as it comes down. It's so tight. And he was get lying. The, the floss around it. I've actually run out of wraps here. Oh no. Oh, you've got all of that. And I've got it. Oh, I'm a fisherman. I'm in a mess oh. here. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm going to have to stop the camera. No, man, this is gold. <laughs> Do we have to start again? Uh, no, no, we have to start again. Bella just likes the sensation of this. She wants me to keep going, but I'm going to have so to So just keep. wrap. You run out of floss like Lee has, just wrap it around again. He's not going to run out of floss because he's used the whole whole container worth. <laughs> that was our last container of floss. Well, I'm unwrapping the other end. Hey! Does the sensor relief? Yes, I can root my finger. Oh, I wanted to rip it off. You ain't gonna do that again, are ya? Yeah, there was a bit of an amateur hour on the uh, removal there, but a few more wraps and... You still got it off. Right. Good job, honey. Alright, so another little example. I'll do it on Bella's other hand so we can see it a bit better. Got the tail hanging out here. 
just a nice wrap around, not tight, just loose so it doesn't bunch up the skin. You get the tail and just pull down and follow it round and as you pull on it, it slowly moves the ring. Voila! That's how it's done ladies and gentlemen. These videos are made possible because of our patrons. Thank you all so very much. It all comes all thanks to you all. Up next. <laughs> so we're just coming ashore at Padang for the last time before we head off. Hopefully it's a nice passage tonight. Not a lot of wind. We'll just take our time. Yeah, it's about 3 a.m. so I'm gonna go wait Leah. up. Remember guys, if you like that video, please like and comment and share with your friends. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. See you next time. Bye.